okay we talked about non -vari uh, time variant data now i'll be uh, uh, sorry uh, we have spoken about non volatile data now i'll talk about time variant data for any operational system the stored data contains the current values because these systems support day to day current operations for example in an order entry system the status of an order is the current status of the order on the other hand the data in the data warehouse is meant for analysis and decision making if a user is looking at the buying pattern of a specific customer the user needs data not only about the current purchase but also previous purchases as well a data warehouse because of the very nature of its purpose has to contain historical data and not just current values data is stored as snapshots over past and current records the time variant nature of the data in a data warehouse must have few features it should have that is allows for analysis of the past relates the information relates information to the present okay let me just increase the size because it's too small it is very difficult for you people to see it relates information to the present and enables forecasts to the future enables forecast to the future so this should be the three main points of time variant data that means data extraction a simple concept is it will involve different functions data extraction means retrieving the data loading the data transforming the data storing the data and providing user interfaces now time horizon means current as well as historical historical means previous data maybe 5 to 10 years the key structure may or may not contain an element at of a time but the data warehouse will have sophisticated snapshots of the data so first of all is operational database where you have the time horizon 60 to 90 days then the data warehouse is such which i just now mentioned then that is about time variant and for data warehousing process data transformation functions such as data extraction cleaning and aggregation that again it's put into data warehouse so the user the data warehouse users comprise of executives managers and businesses or business analyst so next class probably i'll give you the different uses of data warehouses and the operational usage operation system versus decision support system now let me give you some multiple choice question to you you are going to solve them i am writing this question one after the other and just decreasing the line spacing first question which of the following is an elementary unit 
that stores a single fact first point a is it a field b record c file d directory number 2 a collection of related data fields is known as a dash now you have to find out what are these dashes a data field b record c is file and d is directory so you have to find out which one is correct question number 3 a collection of related records is known as a dash a file system b field c file and d directory four a directory stores information of related dash so what is this dash a is fields b is records c is files d is file systems oh this cursor jumps from here and there it's very difficult to look at the monitor always each time i have to reduce the spacing otherwise it is occupying a large number of space now question 5 
the term that defines that fraction of time a system is up and running for processing is dash options are a availability b readability c accessibility usability number 6 a dash dash is a set of requests is a set of requests that are processed together often long after the requests were submitted options are set b is for batch c transaction d record number 7 calculating the value of a stock market portfolio is an example of dash a batch b this we have discussed remember while we were talking about different processing systems online c is for transactional d is for 
real time. Question number eight. Dash processing that's because it is assumed word is assumed that it is after full stop a new character should start so it is taking uppercase for processing is best in cases where a quick response time is not desirable Options are same options which I have written earlier in question 7. From there you have to find out what are the correct option for this question number 8. Now question number 9. I'm just saving time I'm copying the common words so that it saves our time this is where interactive communication is desirable same option I mean same option list number 10 Airline reservation system is an example of dash processing. So, airline system is an example of dash processing batch online transactional real time. Oh my goodness, I did not save this file. All of a sudden, it will go off. Uh, let me save this also. Because I will not have the record what questions I have given it to you. So, I will choose the folder where I am choosing all the option. Data warehouse. I 
and MCQ. So, 10 questions. Let me give you another 5 more. After that, we'll stop for MCQ. Question number 11 dash processing. is a subset of online processing choice are Only one option is changed. So, I will copy the remaining from the previous one option. I will change later on. Instead of serial, this option I make it as uh, online, I make it as serial. So, number 11 done. Number twelve data is automatically taken from sensors and processed without user intervention in dash kind of processing. Now you have to mention what type of processing it is. The options are batch, online, transactional and real time. Question number 13 in dash processing transactions are performed sequentially Question number 13 A is transactional, B is uh, 
online c is serial and d real time Fourteen. Efficient utilization of resources. Efficient utilization of resources. resources and effective implementation of security and privacy measures is difficult in dash processing option a centralized b decentralized C batch D none of these so efficient utilization of resources means proper utilization i am explaining it to you what does this sentence mean proper utilization of resources and pro correct implementation of security and privacy measures will be difficult in which kind of processing the types of processing are given as centralized decentralized batch and none of these you have to pick out which one is the correct one so i am giving you only 14 uh, online uh, mcq questions you have to solve them all by yourself because whatever we have discussed so far i have given a few sections only till processing file organization i have given remaining uh, questions again i will continue in some other class so as of now i stop here please all of you i want that you should solve these questions okay so meet you again in the next class